China is making a bold move in space. Two brand new cargo spacecraft, Heolong and Qingzhou, will launch on commercial rockets to resupply the Tiangong space station. But this isn't just another routine mission, it's a game changer. For the first time, China is integrating reusable space tech and private space companies into its manned space program, marking a major shift in its strategy. This move represents a future where space missions are more efficient, cost-efficient, and sustainable. But why is this so important, and could this challenge NASA's resupply dominance? Let's dive into the details of this groundbreaking transformation. For years, China has relied on Tianzhou cargo spacecraft to transport supplies to the Tiangong space station. While effective, Tianzhou follows an expendable model. It delivers cargo and is then discarded, burning up upon re-entry. This means no ability to return scientific experiments, hardware or other materials from the station, limiting the possibilities for in-depth analysis on Earth. Recognizing this inefficiency, China took a major step forward in 2023 by launching an initiative to develop low-cost and advanced cargo spacecraft. The China Manned Space Engineering Office, CMCAO, invited companies to submit proposals for a next-generation cargo system that would increase flexibility, improve efficiency, and lower costs. Out of 10 submissions, four made it to the detailed design phase, and in October 2024, two winners were selected, Heolong and Qingzhou. Heilong is a 10-meter-long, 7,000-kilogram reusable cargo space shuttle developed by AVIC. Unlike Tianzhou, Heilong is designed for multiple missions and will be able to land on a runway, similar to the retired space shuttle. This marks a major milestone in China's spaceflight capabilities as it will enable the safe return of experimental materials from Tiangong. Until now, China only had limited down-mass capacity, relying on the Shenzhou crewed spacecraft to bring back small amounts of cargo. How long will significantly expand these capabilities, making long-term research projects in space more feasible? On the other hand, Qingzhou is a 27 cubic meter single Ganyuol cargo spacecraft developed by IAMCUS. With a payload capacity of 1,800 to 2,000 kilograms, it provides a cost-sufficient resupply option for Tiangong. While it is not reusable, Qingzhou's design is optimized for efficiency and adaptability, allowing it to carry a variety of scientific payloads, station maintenance equipment, and life support supplies for astronauts. The development of Halong and Qingzhou signals a new era in China's space strategy. Instead of relying solely on one cargo model, China is diversifying its space logistics, introducing both reusable and single-use options. One of the most exciting aspects of these missions is China's increasing reliance on commercial space companies. Traditionally, China's space industry has been dominated by state-owned enterprises, with most spacecraft and rockets developed under the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation CASC. However, this new approach integrates private companies into key space programs, mirroring the NASA Commercial Resupply Services CRS program. How long will be launched aboard Land Space's Zhuke-3 rocket, a stainless steel methane liquid oxygen reusable rocket? Designed to be used at least 20 times, the Zhu K-3 represents China's strong push toward reusable rocket technology, similar to SpaceX's Falcon 9. This move will drastically lower launch costs and increase the frequency of resupply missions, making space operations more sustainable. In September 2024, Landspace successfully completed a 10-kilometer vertical takeoff and landing test, proving the viability of its reusability technology. The Ju K3 can deliver 21,000 kilograms to low Earth orbit in expendable mode and 18,300 kilograms when recovered, making it one of China's most powerful commercial launch vehicles. Meanwhile, Qingzhou will launch aboard Caspace's Kinetica 2 Lijian 2 rocket. Caspace is a spin off from the Chinese Academy of Sciences developed to support China's growing demand for flexible and cost effective space transport solutions. Unlike Ju K3, Kinetica 2 is not reusable, but it is specifically optimized for low cost, high frequency launches, making it ideal for cargo delivery missions. This collaboration between government led projects and private companies marks a pivotal moment for China's space sector. 
By bringing in commercial players, China is reducing development costs, increasing innovation, and accelerating the pace of space advancements. However, integrating commercial companies into national space programs comes with its own challenges. Unlike NASA's partnerships with SpaceX and Northrop Grumman, where private firms maintain relative independence, Chinese commercial companies still operate under strict government oversight. Despite this, China's commercial space industry is booming. Analysts predict that the sector could be worth nearly $1 trillion by 2029, with private rocket manufacturers, satellite developers, and space tourism companies emerging at a rapid pace. The introduction of Heilong and Qingzhou is not just about improving cargo transport. It has profound strategic implications for China's long-term space ambitions. First, the reusability of Heilong is a major step toward cost-sufficient spaceflight. Currently, China spends billions of dollars annually on space missions, with most spacecraft and rockets being single-use. By making Heilong reusable, China is following the global trend of sustainable space technology reducing launch costs and increasing the efficiency of its space missions. Second, Heilong's down-mass capability, returning cargo from space, will greatly enhance scientific research. Until now, China has been limited in what it can bring back from space, relying on small re-entry capsules from Shenzhou missions. With Heilong, larger payloads, including biological experiments, new materials, and prototype space technologies can be retrieved and analyzed on Earth. This will accelerate breakthroughs in medicine, material science, and space technology. Third, the expansion of China's cargo resupply fleet strengthens the Tiangong Space Station's sustainability. The addition of two different cargo vehicles gives China greater flexibility and redundancy, ensuring that even in the event of a launch failure, supplies can still reach the station. Beyond space station logistics, these advancements also align with China's lunar and deep space ambitions. The experience gained from developing reusable spacecraft will play a crucial role in China's goal to establish a lunar base in the 2030s. Future lunar missions will require frequent and cost-sufficient resupply missions, similar to how the International Space Station ISS, relies on multiple cargo spacecraft from NASA, SpaceX, and Roscosmos. Additionally, the use of commercial launch vehicles like Zhukui-3 and Connecticut-2 lays the foundation for private sector expansion into deep space exploration. This could include asteroid mining, Mars missions, and space-based manufacturing, all of which are expected to be multi-billion dollar industries in the coming decades. China's rapid progress in space technology, commercial partnerships, and reusability places it in direct competition with the United States. While NASA has a decades-long lead in space exploration, China's aggressive advancements indicate that it is closing the gap faster than expected. The upcoming launches of Haolong and Qingzhou mark a significant milestone in China's space journey. By embracing reusable technology and partnering with commercial enterprises, China is revolutionizing its approach to space logistics. This not only enhances the operational capabilities of the Tian Gong space station, but also sets the stage for future explorations beyond low Earth orbit. As we look to the stars, developments like these bring us closer to a future where space is more accessible and missions are more sustainable. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries. And don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.